Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to 365 Projects. I am here today with my Spookathon TBR. The Spookathon is a readathon that's just kind of getting you all hyped up for the Halloween time, spooky vibes, a lot of thriller, ghosty type reading, and it is from October 15th through the 21st and it's ran by Kayla from Books and Lala and then some of her friends. So I'm going to leave all the information down below for you to check out. Hope you join in the fun. I have done this one in the past, I think, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to give you my TBR real quick because I'm also in the middle of watching the Kansas City Chiefs play. And so it's going to be a fast one, but I wanted to just get it up and get it out there that I am participating in this readathon, and I hope you do too. So the first challenge is to read a thriller. And for that, I wasn't sure if this one was a thriller, but on the back, it is blurbed as a whip smart thriller. So we're going with that. This is Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant who is also known as Shauna McGuire, so like the Every Heart of Doorway series is the author for this one, and so I definitely wanted to read it, but also because Julie from Pages and Pens is doing it as a buddy read, it is from October 11th to the 17th, so I'll actually be quite a bit of the way through this when the readathon starts, but during the readathon it'll be the last 150 pages, so I'm still going to count it. Um, this is about, I think, a ship, <laughs> maybe, it sounds, that's what it sounds like. That goes out to sea like seven years prior and it just vanishes while they're doing a mockumentary about ancient sea creatures in the deep ocean. And so these people like go to try to find it and I've heard it's creepy, I've heard it's scary, like the idea of being caught in the middle of the ocean is absolutely terrifying to me, which I know the same thing was said by Chelsea from Chelsea Doling Raids. And so this will definitely be one that's like probably heart stopping. But I'm excited to get into it anyways because I do have the audiobook, so that will definitely <laughs> help me out. The second challenge is to pick a book that has purple on the cover. And for that, I was going to use the group book of Toil and Trouble. It's like 15 stories of witchcraft. I'll put the cover up here. Um, but I am on the wait list at the library, like 18 people left before me. So I don't think that's going to show up. And then I also put on Hold Strange Grace, which is another book that's been like really talked about lately on BookTube. And I'm also on hold for that. So I think what I'm going to go with it for this one is another thriller called The Lies We Told. Let me see. Yes, The Lies We Told. So this one is by Camila Way. And it is a booktube, or excuse me, a book of the month book that I selected. And I'm just going to read what the synopsis is because it's a thriller I don't want to know too much about. It says, when her boyfriend disappears, Clara must sort through his family's web of lies to discover where he went and if it's too late to save him. So I think she's starting to figure out that something's just not right with him, and the family's trying to hide it, and it's a thriller. It says it's fast-paced, it's creepy, it's a puzzle. So that one should be good. I hope to be able to get to it through this um, readathon. The third challenge is to select a book that is not in this time period, and this may be a bit of a stretch, but I'm going to go with House Witch by Katie Schickel, Schickel maybe? And so, Brady, he's staring at me through the window as he sits on the seat that he's supposed to sit on. Whatever. I'll deal with him later. Um, this is a book that actually Natasha, from my reading is odd, talked about here recently. And this kind of reminds me of like a, um, just a women's chiclet type book with a little bit of magic thrown in. So this main character, Allison, is a former foster child, which, love stories that start with that, um, but she is part of a group called Glamour Girls that make like handmade soaps. And along the way, her mom passes away and she finds out her family legacy is that they're actually witches. So it kind of puts all that together. Um, and the part that's like not set in this time period is it does have like excerpts from like maybe a journal or something. I didn't want to read it because I want to go in surprise from like 1945 and it works itself up through the years. So I'm assuming it's the family story through the years. So I'm counting it as not in this time period because it's kind of spread throughout the course of history. So I'm excited to get to that one as well. The fourth challenge is to pick a book with something like a spooky word in the title. And for that one, I knew I wanted to put this book in my TBR because it is the newest Mary Downing Hahn. Um, Mary Downing Hahn was my favorite author as a kid and she's still writing books. And as you can see, they are getting creepier and creepier. This is The Girl in the Locked Room. It's a ghost story. Um, I guess the creepy word to me would be a locked room. Like, every bit of terrifying, like, no questions asked. It is extremely short middle grade. 
Um, this is about a girl who's been locked in a room for a hundred years, and so now obviously she's a ghost, but then somebody else moves into the house, and it's whether or not these two little girls like become friends, and ghosty stuff happens. We'll see. I always love her books, um, but this absolutely looks terrifying. <laughs> And the fifth and final challenge is to pick a book with pictures in it somewhere. It is another middle grade called Ghosts by Raina Telgemeier. I don't know if you actually say her name that way. This is a middle grade graphic novel about a family that moves to Northern California because the youngest daughter has cystic fibrosis. And so like the salty, cool air from the sea is supposed to help her lungs. And when they move there, they find out that this town is haunted and there are ghosts. So... Throughout that, you see um, good disability rep, obviously, but also kind of a spooky read. So those are the books that I'm reading during the Spookathon. Um, if the Toil and Trouble book comes out, I will also um, try to pick that up if I get it from a hold. These are the ones I physically have right now. I have the audiobooks of that one, and hopefully more pop up as time goes along because that is my saving grace during a readathon. Also, the fact that these are two children's books, that's going to be great. And I'll be 150 pages left of this one. Because it is a work week, I try to make things as simple as possible while still meeting every challenge. So hopefully I'll be able to do that this time through. Um, contemporary Thon was pretty successful for me, but I would still like to be able to like say, I finally did a readathon where I met every challenge. So that is my goal. But anyways, if you're going to join in this readathon, please let me know down below what you are reading. If you're reading any of these same ones, I would love to chat with you about it. So yeah, until next time, bye guys.